Hello and welcome back to another episode of Octo Reacts with your uh, beautiful host, the, the eight foot handsome octopus himself, the disgruntled octopus. And hello and welcome. Uh, today I've had to be really, really, really sneaky and actually hide who this uh, this reseller is that I'm reacting to today, because quite possibly my life could be in danger. This this person's to say he's probably the um, the most disliked Australian reseller there is uh, would be a bit of an understatement. And if this video got to his attention before it was released or he was aware of it before it was released, there could be some dire consequences. So this was highly recommended. A lot of people wanted this one to roll out. So I have listened to the masses and um, I did read between the lines that you put on the uh, little comments down there to, to see who you want. And without further ado, we'll get right into today's uh, video. And who we have? We have... Welcome back to it's a damn evening. Forest finds it's the last week before the Easter holidays. <laughs> so Christian. March is ending as well. And I'm just thinking I want to get one more thrift video out. And I'm thinking maybe I'll film every day of this week, going to the same thrift store at the same time every day. I will give Christian one thing. He's got a phenomenal little intro screen there. Uh, I do enjoy that whenever it comes back up. I'll have to find out one day how he does it. Yeah, so a lot of people are probably asking, <laughs> what's the royalty aspect? For those that don't know Christian, he's not the most disliked for, uh, Australian reseller. He's probably the most liked one, to tell you the truth. Um, however, he's affectionately named the Plush King. We'll have a look at what he's doing. He's basically trying to go to the same two thrift stores over the course of three or four days. So this video just came out a couple of days ago. Before we continue, I've ever really introduced myself here in a while i uh, got a lot of new subscribers and viewers yeah if you haven't subscribed to forest finds online i'll, I'll put his comment i put his links down the bottom of the description so you like to go all the way down the bottom so it doesn't give away who uh who our mystery <laughs> reaction is this week uh he he's pretty good actually he he releases videos, then goes off YouTube and releases videos. So you know, a lot of people in the YouTube community probably has whiplash from Christian <laughs> from the amount of times that he's saying he's giving YouTube away only for the next day that, that he releases a video. So if you if you haven't subscribed to him already, go over there and give him a, bit of a sub. Uh, he knows his stuff, so he's pretty good. So thank you. But my name is Christian. I'm a part-time online seller. Online as in on eBay, Depop, Facebook Marketplace. I do sell a lot on my Instagram as well. Well, not a lot, but I do usually put everything up on my Instagram stories. I've been a bit quiet in there lately, but um, I'm still there. So feel free to follow me. What is it with all these people knowing how to edit better than me? <laughs> One day, I, I promise I'll uh, I'll get onto a, a YouTube how to edit video because these are pretty cool special effects that Christian's got going on. If you're interested in anything like that, um, everything I find at the thrift, I do put up on my Instagram before anywhere else. A niche or like a specific category I sell in. <coughs> Bullshit. But if I had to choose top three, it would definitely be clothes. Especially vintage, been doing it for five, six years now. Um, love it, and it will always be my number one. And probably plush toys, or toys in general. Uh, more plush, probably. I love plush toys. That's why he's known as the Plush King. He loves his plush. I've done really, really well with them in the past. Uh, yeah, I'll see you back on YouTube. I am planning to do a massive trip to a thrift maybe next month in April. So he says that now. <laughs> Christian's quite notorious for um, turning on and turning off his YouTube channel. So like I said, definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe to his channel. I'm hoping that if we can move a couple of subscribers across, especially those international ones that haven't found his channel yet, because like I said, he is fantastic. Um, they'll motivate him to make more, more videos because the amount of plush and the different kind of plush that he picks up is just, <laughs> it's just ludicrous. So yeah, no, definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe. Right. What's going on? It's Monday, uh, 4.31, so I'm on the way to the... Th it's going with that angle, it looks like crutch cam, crotch cam. <laughs> you need to move it. Maybe maybe watch uh, Chris Furlong's videos where he puts it on the windscreen. Uh, that's probably a little bit better angle than that, Christian. The Rift, it's been a long day and I'm tired, but I'm really pumped to see what we can find on a beautiful Monday. Let's get it. Always go to clothes first. Clothes is my number one. I hate clothes. I hate clothes with a passion. Uh, 
But yeah, let me know in the comments field below uh, what you prefer to go to first and don't say close. <laughs>
definitely, 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 if you're in Australia, do the reseller bingo card, even if it's just by virtue of looking for bolos because, you know, a lot of the things that Christian's got on there is the stuff you want to be looking out for. I was just trying to get in and out, but one thing I want to say is it really feels like the items are getting more expensive, like basic t-shirts are like $7 now, um, but they do slip up every now and then and price things at like 3 or $4, which is nice. Build a small bag. Let me take you through it all. Here we have it. <laughs> As I was saying, this is a haul from today, a bit more than yesterday, and I did have to pay up a little bit as well, but I'm pretty confident I can make a decent profit. Uh, we also got this really cool, cool <laughs> t-shirt. How much did I pay? 13 paid up for that, but cool is a good brand, especially when it comes Blake, Blake has told me before that Cool's cooling off. <laughs> There's an octopus dad joke for you. Um, so just do your comps on it beforehand. It might pick up now that we're moving back into the winter season in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, but like I said, that I've got some cool gear before. Uh, does pretty well. Like, yeah, especially if you can find the, the ski pants or the ski clothes. But um, but like I said, do your comps because Blake's mentioned numerous times to, that Cool's cooling down. To pant. I already showed this banana. I'm going to load it up with a few other Mario Kart stuff. And the final item, it was only $5. I can't believe it was still there. So this is a vintage made in Costa Rica Levi's button up, like a stripy button up shirt. Nice. So th this is what I really like about Christian because he just doesn't exclusive, doesn't make himself exclusive to eBay like you know, me. <laughs> so he, he sells against every platform he's available on. So yeah, he's very big on Depop. I know a couple of, when I first started selling Christian, he was always doing his like weekly Depop stats of how he was you know, going up the ladder and all these different things. He sells a fair bit on Depop, gives Blake a run for his money over there. Sells on Facebook Marketplace, as you can see. He sells a lot on his Instagram. He's got a bit of an Instagram following as well. So don't don't lock yourself down just to eBay. Metal buttons, it's from 1994 because if you don't know, a lot of Levi's actually has dates on it. If you sell clothes, you probably already know this. Don't ask me how to work it out. I have to go hit up Judder all the time. <laughs> anyway, the tag's somewhere there inside. Anyway, inside tags, it shows you the date and the style code and all that stuff. But yeah, pretty happy with that. This is today's haul. Three of going to the same op shop or thrift stores and seeing if I can find anything. So far, it's been a pretty good week, pretty good little experiment I've been doing. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm actually over already going to the same two places. But an update, I didn't sell anything from yesterday. Again, I didn't list everything. I just ran out of time. I just don't have the time to list every single item that I pick up on the very same day. I just want to interject there quite quickly. You know, yeah, selling things on the same day is a very, very, very rare occurrence unless you've got a very high sell-through rate thing. So with Christian selling things on the same day, like he does frequently, and I know a lot of other YouTubers do it as well, um, it's it's probably the minority. It's very out, <laughs> out there uh, statistic-wise. So don't feel like you're going to list something today and it will sell immediately. So just be aware of that. Anyhow... <laughs> $26 spent. Yeah, pretty interesting. Never picked up these Aboriginal clapping sticks, they're called. Clapping musical sticks. So we'll see what that goes for. For those um, <laughs> in America or overseas, they normally do the clapping sticks. And yeah, if we do have any Indigenous people that are watching, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they do them a lot in corroborees and dances and a lot of, you know, I suppose, opening ceremonies from what I've seen. Uh, I've been to a few... Uh, traditional events i suppose indigenous traditional events in my line of work um i've spoken to a lot of elders as well they've kind of given me a little bit of idea of what's going on i'm not an expert by any means but that's a general gist for our international viewers uh, and but like i said if we've got anyone that knows more than me please interject because i don't want to be wrong <laughs> no oh, look 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 i've seen someone like him I know, I have watched this video before, um, so he doesn't pick this up, 
if you see a book in this condition, especially if it's a movie tie, especially like The Exorcist and all these different ones, grab it. Uh, even if pages are falling out, make sure all the pages are there. If pages are falling out and it's really cheap, I don't know how this book, how much this book was from memory, but definitely grab it. I picked up uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. It's basically a very, 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 very rare um, novelization of the movie. I sold it to $200. <laughs> Starbucks coffee, contrary to what J Gary V says, and you know someone else that sits in the car and makes drive through talking about coffee cups in their shorts a couple of weeks ago, uh, you need to get the ones that are very unique, um, like Prague or Singapore, Japan, all these different things. Uh, a lot of the, I think they're called City Series. Um, they tend to do all right. Make sure that they're, they're not faded. Make sure they're not chipped. Uh, make sure that they're cracked. Um, and yeah, it should be right. I probably, I don't know if he grabs this cup, but I'll probably leave that one below behind because it's just a generic one. People want to, people want to collect where they've been to or where they'd like to get to. Think of it in that capacity. I just want to talk about reseller etiquette. There was this, uh, it was just like breathing down my neck. Every single rack and t-shirt I was going to, he was like just following me. Um, I don't know why, maybe he's a viewer, or it's just a kid, but he was so annoying. Um, but I agree, yeah, there's such a thing as reseller etiquette, right? Like, I've seen this numerous times myself, is that yeah, I'm slithering along the, the clothing racks doing the ASMR videos or whatever I used to do. And if you've got people pretty much brushing up to you, almost like putting their, <laughs> lighting themselves up behind your tentacles, it's, it's quite a, an uncomfortable experience and you can feel their breath down your back of your neck. Um, and also... If, like, I suppose my quick tip is that if you don't know what something is, crack your phone out, take a photo of it, then use Google Lens and reverse engineer it from that perspective. But if you're doing that, turn your camera sound off. Like um, and we're back. Let me show you what I got today. Wednesday trip to the thrift. Two stops again like the other two days. Look at this. We'll start off over here with the clothes. with this AMG Patronus. He's back again. <laughs> AMG that. Patronus black. Just a simple. Some some say that's Kaifen. Like yeah, if you look at our comments and Kaifen the cat, that, that could be Kaifen. Uh, Christian may have kidnapped them. <laughs> Full polo shirt. Recently sold a similar one for about 30, 40. So I thought, why not for ten dollars? Got this Y two K Billabong. I paid up for this. I don't know. I made oh. maybe made a mistake, but. It happens to the best of us. I actually bought a uh, starter um, weave knit. I, I thought it was vintage. I paid fifteen dollars for it. Uh, it was fake, Blake. You know, if you if you're um, wanting your clothing's authenticated, by all means, reach out to Blake, Blake Gorfine because he loves it. He can't get enough of it. Plush toys. I only got it for this Pokemon toy, Toto Toto doll. Toto doll. So I can't work it out. No, I don't think he's wearing the scarf. Yeah, so like I said, the, look at the tags. There's a lot of counterfeit Pokemon running around. There's some Pokemon that look particularly derpy uh, or dopey looking. They might be a Ditto, which can go for ludicrous amounts of money. It looks like it's got a face drawn onto it. Like, you know, it looks like a three-year-old's drawing a smiley face. Uh, but with these ones, have a look at the tags. Just make sure that they're Tomy or... Uh, like I was saying before, that they're basically saying that Pokemon or yeah, Pokemon Center exclusive. If it just says made in China, it's a fake. Iowa, I believe. I said that right. Oh, and I also got this puzzle. So it was funny because I first saw that price, $40. I was like, hell no. But then that was the actual price, $9. I only got it because it's sealed and it's Ravensburger, a good brand to look out for. And it's Harry Potter, 1,000 pieces, why not? Here we are, Thursday, the final day of this mini challenge or whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, it's pretty hot and sunny today, so let's get this done and over with. Today, all I found was clothing. So, pretty much all t-shirts and one button up. Uh, Patagonia. This whole week I found Patagonia. This is like the 7th or 8th Patagucci shirt I found. Uh, and it was only $7. I've only found one Patagonia or one Carhartt in the world. I've, <laughs> he's, he's blown me out of the water one day. Dollars, a size XL, so they'll get for sale. And this shirt here, it's a shame it's a medium because I probably would have kept it. I love Iron Maiden. This is a 2005 Iron Maiden tour shirt. Not a fan of Iron Maiden, and quite honestly, I don't think I've ever listened to them, but I love all things spooky and creepy, um, and I love that graphic, so if it was a, an XL or a 2XL, I would have kept it myself. The graphic is so sick, and the fading on it, I know it's not technically vintage, but it's getting there. It's close. There we go. That's all I got today. All right. 
I'd probably be a scumbag and listed as vintage, even though it's 2025. Almost in the shade. 2005. Did I learn number one in reselling? Consistency is a must, it's a key, and that will lead often to some success. Number two, I noticed that I kept seeing the same people all the time and you can create some good relationships. Number three, for me personally, I noticed that today, compared to Monday, I became a lot faster, so I knew what I was doing. I knew my exact route to take when I entered the shop, and I knew what's been there uh, for a while already and what has recently been put out so I could just quickly look through it and uh, Yeah, time is money guys. You got to be efficient if you did enjoy this video and you haven't subscribed Make sure you do that down below and like the video You don't have to but it's free it doesn't cost you anything and uh, if you have any questions or comments write it down below So that it pretty much sums up the Australia's most disliked reseller if as you can probably see already so Christian Yeah, like I do agree with what he says there is that you do want to build relationships, right? Like within the reselling community um, and also with the, the thrift store shop staff, uh, all those different things as well. So, or even on Facebook Marketplace, you know, there's a lot of people that I speak to on a regular basis uh, that have sold me before. And, you know, I've, I've told them numerous times, if you get this in, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll pick it up and all these different things. And word of mouth travels. But anyway, well, that's enough for this week. And let me know in the comment section below as well, you know, for the fourth time I've asked that this video, is just to let me know who you who you think that we should do next. I'm also open to doing international um, YouTube channels. I'm trying to keep it under 1,000 subscribers just to kind of give a boost to those uh, new and upcoming YouTube channels. They don't have to be fantastic. They don't have to be, <laughs> like, you know, as polished as Christian's is. Um, you know, I, I'll insult anyone equally. So I'm, I'm quite an equal insult person or an octopus in that pursuit. So by all means, uh, but thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.